of a dumb thing to start screaming about. Yes, hello to you too. Welcome to the channel. Sure is cold tonight. That's it, that's the game. Oh, it's nice to get out of that subway every now and then. Getting tiring sitting all day asking strangers for change. I'm trying to get some sleep soon. Oh my god. Another shooting. The city's getting out of hand. This is a real life simulator, guys. Gee, sure is boring around here. Some shrimp chips. Hear the footstep sound? But it's euros. Pounds, rather. Ninety minutes of ads are about to run into your house and kill you. Is the FOV shrinking? What the fuck is this game? This ain't good. You listen. You gotta take this. Please, don't let the case. Be careful. It might take the form of someone else. I'm sorry. It's here. You see it? it? Just turns into nuke. Do you see it? A chilling man in the alleyway. Only we can see it now. Need to get out of here. Subway down the alley. Get on the last train now. I can't move. Maybe let's not spawn with the guy next to me. You know, imaginary. Thank you for the prime gaming, dude. Appreciate that. Just some shootings happening. Let me fix that audio. Here we go. Do you see it? So by reading the fucking dialogue, it actually killed me. Because he's like so, so slow in his approach. We can easily take our time. But since we had to like read that shit, he was just like right there. Why is the subway entrance in the alley? I guess it's Europe. But you kidding me? Yeah, I was gonna say you're not gonna let me on. Damn, who the hell was that? Lucky, I was able to get to the last train. I'll get off on the last stop and find somewhere to rest up for the night. What's so important about this case? I've already tried to open it, but it won't budge. I'll try to force it open when I get. Wait. Where the where did I put my ticket? Must have dropped it when I was running away from that creep. Well, I'm a bit short in funds right now. Followed me. That's it. That's the guy. I mean, it's not really that scary. Everyone's wearing the same yellow shirt and actually suspiciously looks the same. 
It's a little weird. Turn that down a bit. It's, it's followed me. How can no one else see it? Doesn't matter. I gotta get off this train. No. This is kind of interesting, actually. I don't know about the edgy homeless shooting stuff, but uh, it's a neat idea. Although everyone is a copy of each other. Someone should make a game like that where you have to like be the person waiting in line. In like roller coaster tycoon. He could throw it out a ticket. Well, how the fuck? Is that him? Oh my god, dude, they definitely were thinking of it follows. They just I have to go around and scrounge money off the floor to be able to buy a ticket. I'm out of stamina. This is cruel. It kind of looks like Jeff Keeley. Why wasn't he that guy? Why is the model different? Uh, I don't know that it sounded like it was French or something. So we are not the pound. This is ridiculous. You have to actually go around and just find money. Coin locker. Not a thing in there. Is the game silent? What's going on with this audio shit? Near Nada. He's catching up way too quick. Oh, he's a different guy now. It's like his texture changed when he was on the train. He was just like some weird dude. You couldn't hear it a second ago. I got. I still gotta find like three fucking bucks. You, you didn't miss anything, but I don't know if that was going on with that shit. He changed. He's a different guy now. He's back to Jeff. Bald Jeff Keeley. Bald Bald Jeff. No, because I had to double all the audio the other day when we were playing Pal World with Salt on stream. Apparently, uh, I don't know, it's all fucked up. Speaking of which, I'd like to finish that. I think we're like halfway through the game. I think we could uh, at least get to the end sometime soon. Played a little bit more of Enshrouded today, too. It's fun. Hopefully we can get more of that in soon. I don't know if anyone caught that last night, but we were all playing Enshrouded uh, on Vinny's stream. Put up a VOD of my POV when I get a chance. I have to edit it a little bit. We'll just leave, you know, a couple cents here and there. I mean, I'd say it's more common these days than anything. People are pretty... Uh, people don't really care about their little coins sometimes. I do, but not everybody does. The hard currency. Yeah, and Shroud is really cool. I think I actually might definitely be enjoying it more than Power World. Oh, they're both. There's just like such different games, though. You can't run. I'm out of sand. This isn't looking good. Fuck out of my way. I think I got enough money though. There's no way I'm gonna get enough space between us. Space between. He's like a. He's too fast, man. He's gone so fast now. Oh. Yeah, I like that idea of being pursued in a crowd of people. This is a. 
Yeah, fuck you. But now I don't have any control over the actual volume of it. It's, it's like tied to that one. I don't know. This is all stupid. There's a German. What language are they speaking? There's nothing inside. It is French. Okay, that's what I thought at first. Sir, excuse me. Trying to fucking pick up money on the ground. Very busy. A hobo Sonic with a tier one. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it very much. But yeah, I'm not sure how long uh, Enshrouded is content-wise right now. The map is huge. So I don't really know what else is out there to do, but... Excited to check out more of it. And, uh... He said I'd like to finish Power World. Good ways in there now. You can do anything. Although I built a tunnel. And when I went back online today, it was gone. Like it got filled in by the environment. I think if you do something like that and you're not within a base. Whoa, that guy was just right in my face. If you're not within range of the base, it like gets rid of it or something. I don't know. Right, we're running out of steam. We gotta find more money. Fuck out of my way, bro. I already searched there. Yeah, there's both both games have like elements of things in them that uh I like. Man. Are you fucking choking me? He's going faster. there man we just need like 20 more cents excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me you fucking assholes Kidding me? You pushing me? <laughs> Did it? Happy Halloween! How did this come out? It just came out today, but they're just saying Happy Halloween just because. That was a neat little, like, proof of concept. Need to see. It's kind of a cool idea to, you know, I don't know how well it would work for a full game, but. It's always January. There we go. Yeah, it does suck to have to buy every game that is coming out and it's like constantly something coming out but at least with power world and shrouded they're not like they're early access with you know so you get them for 20 25 bucks or whatever as opposed to you know how expensive some games are getting these days but they could be worth it sometimes This game. 
getting showered. Look at that shower head. There we go. And there's even more stuff coming out. I think Pacific Drive comes out next month. I'm looking forward to playing that. That's like the third week of uh, February. Do I have to, can I get out of this? Just got to take a shower. And then, I don't know. Soccer 2 is coming back. September is coming out, rather. There's a bunch of other shit. I heard the Game Pass version is, like, not even updated yet or something like that. I'm not sure if anyone could attest to that, but a few people were having issues with it. This is interesting gameplay. Yeah, RE2 2019 was great. I only played it once. I should play it through it again at some point. Took a shower. Nothing bad happened. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? There's an exit button now. They updated it. Left. Too tired to for a shower right now. That's the end of the game, isn't it? This is like one of the top games on Steam. I don't know. Why? Or itch, rather, not Steam. <laughs> okay. Hmm. There's got to be something I'm missing here. Skibbity, maybe. be in the shower. This game is just this. It's all it is. you don't do that part yes you do this is fucking bizarre okay there's also a Tarkov wipe and update that happened that I kind of want to check out it's only been a few weeks so Just gotta get clean again. Get all cleaned up. Also, Abiotic Factor just announced that new playtest is open. And they added new content to it. So there's another thing to play through. And then they also announced that they have a release date. And it's gonna be May 2nd. And that game is gonna be fucking fun. Looking forward to that. Okay. Again, nothing bad happened. Nah. I mean, they do stuff about the hackers, but... 
kind of like plugging holes in a fucking damn wall sometimes. Every popular game is always going to have hackers like that, unfortunately. Especially with the way the world is. And you can actually make more money playing a game and selling items and hacks to Americans and such. Uh, there will always be hacking industry in, in any game like that. Always. I feel like RuneScape and stuff like that. I think that's the I think that's the one that proves that it's just always gonna happen. It's because you can make so much money, you know? I mean that's why there exists entire warehouses of scammers and such for for everything. Because you can make more money stealing and being dishonest than you can in just being a uh, normal Normal person on the grind in most places, man. Just how it goes. I don't fucking blame anyone, really. I forget if I played this at all. The hopelessness. Oh, yeah, I played this one. Also, Kiki. Thank you for that 31 months. Not quite 32, not quite 30. Appreciate that. Okay. You did the Slender Tubbies shit? The fuck? Oh, this is online. I can play that. FRS, the pilot. What is this? I don't know if we play this or not. Yeah, I think I did. Forest Ranger Service. I don't know how far are we getting at that? Fire Reporter. Trying to get serious. What's up, Crab? I didn't remember this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a big pig. It's out there. Imagine if instead of Bigfoot there was just like a big pig. Oh, I remember this now. Hey there, Nightcrawler. You're locked in. This one's weird. Where the news Bigfoot. takes a walk on the wild side. I'm your man in the shadows, Mike Stone. Have you guys heard about these hidden hikes? Mike Stone. All over our national parks. This isn't something you hear about anymore. But check out the stats. I saw a thing the other day, speaking of that, of like the 411 missing hikers and blah, 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 all the forest ranger shit. There's something to jump on my car, right? No. Um, like a high concentration of all these missing people is like near abandoned mines. The missing people are always like going missing near like uncharted caves and mines and stuff like that, which I think makes sense. Okay, I remember this now. Quick and go. Who's out there? That makes sense. 
people like going too close to some shit like that. Someone falls in or goes in to check it out and like it's hurt, raft and can't get out. And then who the fuck is going in there to check it out? So probably like people all stuck at the bottom of like a fucking mine shaft or something. Oh, look at this. You got coffee and just sprinkles next to each other. Fuck. Imagine. Imagine a convenience store that's just all stuff like this. It's just like little plastic containers. You have to take a little scoops. I guess that's how some stuff is in Chinatown. Evening. What Evening. can I get you? Oh, I remember this guy. Another one, huh? You guys are a dime a dozen. There's a new guy here. Some people just don't. Okay. I remember you. I remember you now. Chew. The perfect gum. It's the only brand that exists here. Also, apple juice bags. Oh, they're little cartons. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Recent reports from research and rescue teams highlight a puzzling trend. A significant number of those who are located after going missing in the wild often exhibit strange mental conditions. We're What's talking that? about 999 999 1999 uh, and in some cases ah, bizarre behavior get the money you uh, deserve these rescuers and medical professionals baffle but some of these disappearances just don't make any sense chew you got experienced hikers uh forest workers lumberjacks and even rangers just about 5% of these missing people are never found. Um, they just go missing without any trace. They search for these people for weeks, and they find absolutely nothing. Now, that's a staggering figure, and it's got us wondering what exactly is happening. We're just back at the gas station. What if I drive by it. There's a secret experiment going on right under our noses. Um, the government... The shadowy figures in black suits. Black They're helicopters. And we lost the radio. Hmm. What does it mean? What does it really mean? I don't know though. Like people try to say that the missing 411 thing is like supernatural in some way, and it is really cool, and I think it's really creepy. But I think it's just people going missing in the woods of natural occurrences. No Bigfoot, no aliens, no ghosts. Shh! Just crash our way through there. That's what he's talking about, at least. This guy's still here. New ranger lost a hiker recently. Vanished in the woods, swallowed whole. Happens more than you'd ever be told. Been here a while, seen the faces. Good luck, ranger. Luck, ranger. Speaking of ranger. Just watching a thing about a history of violence earlier. Movie that uh, Vigo is in after Lord of the Rings. Really good. I remember watching it back in the day, but I haven't seen it in forever. If you haven't seen History of Violence, a, a History of Violence, check it out. It's good. So it's the last VHS tape ever produced, like commercially, was. In 2005, History of Violence, 
It's the last HS ever produced on a mass scale, which is kind of interesting. It's actually like a collector's item now. Worth like a couple hundred bucks, I think. You know, the voices in my head are getting loud. The brand new version's worth even more. Oh! So if you happen to have a VHS version of A History of Violence, basically have a couple hundred bucks sitting around. Or if you ever see it at like a junk store or something, let me grab it. It's kind of cool how some VHS tapes are actually like worth money now. Yeah, it's... I've been watching Lord of the Rings and stuff related to it recently and I was wondering like, what has Viggo Mortensen really been in after that? Like, Street of Violence, I remember. Road. The radio station just got attacked. Road, the Cormac McCarthy book, was really good. I didn't really like the movie as much, but the book is excellent. So it's really fucked up and depressing, but... Eastern Promises, that's right. But then after that, he really dropped off. You can look at his... His uh, IMDb. He's been in plenty of things, just... Nothing huge. What are you doing? In shadows deep. Where trees entwine, a mystery unfolds, a tale malign, through tangled woods where whispers soar. I love Cormac McCarthy. I took a no more. course about him in college, actually. It wasn't just about Cormac, Cormac McCarthy, but it was a Southeastern literature course. It was really good. There's some good stuff there. Answer the call on the forest breeze. Each ring, a step closer, unwind. We read like. Twine. Find the hikers lost. Yeah, Blood Meridian the line. and the pretty horses. Well, are you gonna pick it up? No. What if I refuse to? Well, he's probably been in at least 20 films since 2005. Nothing major Hollywood, Oscar, Emmys, blah, 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 blah. Surprise, there's no Blood Meridian movie yet. Oh, I'm sure there will be now that Cormac McCarthy is dead. Although they made movies of plenty of his things. Um, an interesting thing I noticed in True Detective was one of the guys at the very beginning of the show was reading Blood Meridian in the new season. I was like, oh, that's definitely a little tease of what's happening here. Wake up. They're just fire watch now. So, how was your first night? Pretty interesting. Okay. I had a nightmare. Um, shouldn't tell you creepy stories on your first day. Actually, no. Realizing why he didn't use Lord of Watch for your careers, he didn't want to do work because he thought it would be interesting. He's also been like living with his his parents both like passed away and he'd like lived with them every and like took care of them. They were passing away and stuff. So he's been like doing that, I guess, which is commendable, but also, you know, expensive and emotionally taxing, I'm sure. I was walking my dog Buddy in the forest one evening. I decided to explore a path I didn't know much. He likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in about a half an hour or so. This game is like non linear all over the fucking place. Dream like. As I crashed to look at the ground, I saw a man in a red sweater standing in front of me. When I looked up at his face to say hello or something like that, he disappeared. I freaked out a little bit and quickly started making my way back home in the same path I got there. I stop and look around for Buddy as I turn back and continue home. Right in front of me, there was a severed ear leg, neatly placed on the forest path. That's not been down that path since. Buddy. What? That's the end? don't understand this game completely. I know it's just like a old 
peek at it, but it seems cool. Like, it could be cool, but I think it's supposed to be like a non-linear, disjointed storytelling thing with forest rangers. I don't know. It's very dreamlike. I've been meaning to play Firewatch for like eight years. Maybe I'll do it finally. I know it's not really anyone's favorite game, but it'd be fun one night. Finish it off. All right, that was Forest Ranger. What's up, Hop City? How you doing? Yeah, I think. I just remember people being disappointed by it. I remember that it being kind of like the first like weird controversy. Not the first, but like with developers and YouTubers, because I remember them being mad at like PewDiePie or something for something that happened. I forget what happened. So we're going back like 12, like 10 years or something. I forget. I forget. FRS Funny Park. Yeah, it seems like people are pretty split on it. Yeah, that's true too. It was kind of like the start of my Walking Sims maligned a lot. Yeah, it was a tease of a game. Also, it had like pretty big names attached to it. Like the voice actor was um What's his name? The voice actor for Firewatch is actually in The Office. He's in Mad Men. He's in quite a few things. I haven't seen him recently, but at the time, he's kind of out everywhere. What's his name? Rich Somer. I don't know if you guys ever picked up on that. Yeah, he was in the office. He's actually the guy that Pam almost like hooks up with when she goes away to like art school or whatever. It's kind of funny. And then, yeah, he's the voice of the guy in Firewatch. All right, play another game. Oh, it's Martha's Dolls, this fucking game. Tried to play this one night and it was like bizarre. You try it again. Martha's Dolls. Finally, I'm inside Martha's house. What? Excuse me? Doll was looking to the right side? Kids play. Must be like a Chucky doll. Hmm. Turn in some books. Metal processing. It looks like someone is living in this house. All right. Seems like a really pleasant thing to start talking about, dude. Just broken glass on everything. But some fresh flour. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're pretty well stocked, honestly. Pear tomatoes? Whole peeled pear tomatoes? What does that mean? Battery died. I need another battery for this fucker. I thought that was a battery. Yeah, Martha's house is not that bad. Could be worse. Need some batteries. Yeah. Like combine it. Here we go. What the fuck Stop is this? Room? I think she didn't have kids. You think you can't walk through that? Little radio. What? The Unkertain? Oh, the uncertain. Oh my god, dude. I'm like losing my motor skills. Uncertain. It's like the way the word was lit up, like fucked with me, I guess. <laughs> the seventh sector. Christian Jones. I don't know, I feel like it's like certain fonts and stuff sometimes can make it like just look like nothing. Especially if it doesn't have like serifs on it and stuff. Trick you. Fuck is this? Art kit. Nah, uh, we don't need brains, we need batteries. That's what we really need. It's the worst camcorder ever. It dies in like f about two minutes. Then you have no battery left. No fucking battery. Any of you guys watch um, Skin of Marink last year? So I haven't seen it. It was really good. Making that noise. It's okay. Windy Goon video about it. Hmm. I guess we just go pick the lock. Doll doing. Good thing they have a good, healthy amount of camcorder batteries laying around. Yeah, I should probably watch it. I didn't mean to. Sometimes you're just like not in the mood for a movie, but you know what I mean. Use. What do you like a sign? A key, but you got lockpicks. Rotate. Tarkov. Kind of funny.
You think dead bird in there? It's like if one of the spooky movies you watch is made into a movie. Interesting. It's like found footage. Yeah, that's almost why like TV could be better sometimes because we're close to the kitchen. You just see it and you're like, oh, I'll watch this. Oh, that's kind of creepy. A little creepy. Can't tell what this says. It's written backwards or something. Frankie is my favorite doll. He's the guardian of my house. I had him since I was youth. He was funny and loved to play a lot. He hide and seek so much. When he's angry, he is a monster. I was youth. I liked Frankie. Fuck you, dude. Have you guys ever heard of Deep Red? Deep Rouge? There's a doll in that movie. It is so fucking cool. Who doing that? They kind of scare me. Place Matari. Place Matari, man. Generic yet mysterious key. Oh, it's for this door. Uh, David Lynch room. She was making a lot of dolls. He's friends with all those Woody the Woodpeckers. Toilet as thumbnail. I love when that happens. Hmm. Well, then, well, then. Got a lot here. Oh, my God. One, three, one, four.
course. It was so obvious. Hey, Frankie. Are you Frankie? Alright. Frankie. That's it, man. You just get killed in the end, apparently. He just fucking stabs you. Also, what was that voice? Is that Elmo? Someone want to clip that? Was that an Elmo voice? Is it just someone doing an Elmo voice? What the fuck? I think it was more of a Marge. Ethelmo. Interesting. A little stanky. A little stanky. Elmo. Midnight Madness. Tickle Me Elmo kind of missed out on creepypastas, didn't he? Dude, when New Egg, or New Egg, when New Ground first, like, really, like, started coming up, Tickle Me Elmo was, like, such fodder to get slaughtered on all the fucking games and, like, movies. I think people were grinding up Elmo in, like, fucking blenders and shit. New Egg. I remember a blender game. It just dropped, like, people in it. Like you could drop like Osama bin Laden in a blender. I remember that one being really popular. Burn tickle me elbow. Yeah, there's some fucked up ones. Right. Still have your like original account. Oh my God. I can't even remember what name I would have gone by. All right. Why does albino black sheep sound familiar? So, was that a sight too? It does sound familiar. Is it an artist? I mean, Blender is alive and well. Oh, Blender, you mean like blending. I thought you meant the program. Midnight Madness. I don't know if I remember that very well. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. God damn it, my neck hurts. Um, I gotta find some help. Are you okay, Cook? This is like one's first adventure game. Look at the dog. He's like a little uh, pixelized, like the art. For the dog is like a different style completely. Looks like someone did this art by hand, but then they had like a picture of a German Shepherd they put through a pixel filter. Just applied it to the dog, which I would do too, but. I'm just saying it looks so clashing. I don't need any berries. I need to find help. What the? Better keep our eyes peeled. I gotta play more adventure games like this. I like this a lot. I got nothing to say. Hey, I can hear music. 
It's coming from across the field. I don't think it's supposed to be clashy. I just think it's. When I downloaded this guy was like, this is my first thing I've ever made. So just making it work. Hey, I can hear music. It's coming from across the field. Better check it out. Instead of spending like two days pixelizing a dog from scratch, he that should make sense. Uh, who the hell are you? Well, relax, man. I mean, no harm. Crashed my car. I'm just looking for some help to get back to the road. I think it's the same thing with like the portraits. Like he just used probably what he had. Dog one. It just like the same. The same thing. Oh, this is just kind of weird dialogue. I'm not a weirdo roaming the woods at night. Yeah, if you say so. Remy. Give him a break, Remy. He's clearly hurt. I just crashed my car. My dog is freaking out. Can you see he's in distress? Yeah, Remy, I... This is kind of starting to look like... Um... I don't know. Generic anime man. Pixel filter on. In Photoshop. I think a guy in a $200 jacket and skinny jeans is here for trouble. Besides, he's got a dog. That's usually a good sign, right? This is bizarre. Oh, he's such a cute puppy. Oh, well, you can't be too careful with strangers you meet in the woods. We already had our share of weird encounters, Mia. Not to mention those two blockheads running. Who says blockheads? Yeah, I understand that, but I think we should give him the benefit of the doubt. This is bizarre. Looks like he might really need our help. Oh, it's George. Thinking of blockheads, maybe it's time we had to look for them. Yeah, we have our own problems to deal with right now. I feel like I walked into an 80s movie. Well, what's going on? Two of our friends, Carl and Mick, have gone missing. Probably just off somewhere smoking weed and goofing around. Kate's sharing. True, but it's been a couple hours now. When those numbskulls hurt themselves, it would put a real spanner in our vacation plans. And Mick's mom would kill me. I promised her I'd keep an eye on him. <sighs> Marcy could be anywhere. I don't want to walk around in the forest in the cold, dark night. Screw that. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a fun time to me. Caleb. I'd rather stay close to there are enough people for all these portraits. I'd rather stay close to the fire, to be honest. Those dorks find their own way back. These guys, you really have my back. George, will you at least help me look? Would remember, but I think I should stay here and keep an eye on our things. Seriously, George, you're the one who suggested we go to look. Oh my god, this is going on for so long. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go help. My god, look at all this fucking dialogue. Yeah, nothing to say. The dog did come. Is it day or night? Like, what the fuck? I see something shiny down there. I need to drag it up if I want to see what it is. Reads. Hmm. Calm down, Cook. It's just a chicken. I'm gonna eat it. Maybe I can use this. message written on this paper. The paper's been damaged from exposure. It's hard to read, but I can kind of make out some of it. So this is your final opportunity to move yourself from this situation. The land's down under watchful gaze. You can't da, 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 da. Where ignorance will not shield you from the consequences. Okay. Threatening letter. Oh, 
or normal Caleb. The sheep. Scared it away. Can't fit in here. I know who can. Oh, key your boy. Hmm, he's got a stick. That's not a stick, it's a crowbar. You think a dog would just pick up a crowbar? Take a peek through the pee hole. Pee hole. Can't see much, it's just an old house. Doesn't look like anyone lives here anymore. Might be something of useful tools or something inside. Ah! Holy moly! What's wrong? I saw a person looking back at me. Eh, it's probably just the darkness messing with your eyes. Who's he talking to? Too high up to see inside. Excuse me? Like, who the fuck was he talking to? I guess we're not going this way. Where's the sheep going? I can't reach it. Yeah, I love this kind of scene. This reminds me of like uh, Monkey Island or something. Got it. Rusty pitchfork. There's some junk in my inventory. I guess you can't use it on that. I guess you can't grab that. Dog just going nuts always. And locked it. Isn't there just like a fucking zombie in here? Yuck, it stinks. Just filled with mold and half empty sauce. Uh, bottles. Very strange book. I don't need it. This knife might come in handy. The fuck was that? Ew, it's wet and moldy. Nothing. Fishing rod. Oh, yeah, we can use that to get the thing. Late portraits. I still have never really like played those, just a little bit. Get it. What was it? The six pack of beer. Must have fell in. In college kids. Okay. Now what? Oh my god. Crazy old man. Hey, excuse me. Car broke down in. Uh. Right. Oh, it looks like he's all out of beer. Philip. Oh, he's gone. You got some beer. Here, maybe you could use some more than me. Ah! 
Thank you. The old man reaches behind him and pulls out an old worn key. He hands it to you and smiles. Up, oh, thanks, I guess. Please for something around here. I'm not going in there. Hi, hi. Can you just help push my car? She's coming with me now. Oh, I think she's supposed to be with me. That's who I heard talking before. I can't think of anywhere else you would have to go. I think we got everything. up there and now he's going all the way up there and I can't stop it. There he goes. He already knew that. What does this do? We did get a key from the drink man. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I don't know. Where the fuck that thing is? Oh, there's more over here. I didn't realize that. I can't remove it with my bare hands. something or something to nail fry it open with I mean I got the crowbar that's what I thought cave paintings can't do anything with it if I'm moving my bare hands I'll break my back if I try I mean I need your help with this I'm not strong enough did you find anything else while we were 
we could use out there. Uh, not really. Hmm. We now just push it away. Hmm. What's up, Princess? How you doing? I'm confused how to activate that. They drew it or not. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know. Sorry. Drink some cave water. Stinks. Hmm. I really don't know what else to fucking do here. Can't be that complicated, but rope. The fuck would you use the rope on? Don't know. Oh, you know what? Maybe we could tie the rope to this. Yeah, for the rock. Fucker. tired now anyways we'll just watch some stuff midnight madness at moon forest <laughs> 